folk music that you play there? What is that? How do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Studs Terkel who asked Big Bill Brunzi, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, I never heard, heard no horse. <laughs> show is Horses Sing None of It, an activity of the Folk Project, and my name is Ralph Litwin, and our guest is Christine de Leon. It's very nice to be here. Thank you so much. Welcome to the show. There's quite a buzz about you within the Folk Project. I had a marvelous time, and I was thrilled to be invited there to play. It was quite an experience. Uh, can I play another song for you? Sure. Great. Uh, this will be something I like to call my grandmother set. I have one song about my grandmother on my mother's side, and of course, didn't want to play favorites, and I have a song for my grandmother on my father's side as well. The first is called I Am Irish. Josephine, the mother of 
my family. I'm glad you came to sit a while with me. I will tell you all about the world I see around me. First I sip upon my tea, say a prayer for all my children. And I am Irish, don't you know? I can paint a picture, but I can't make it mean. Even when I'm painting fire and hell. Monarchs, actors, rock stars, and ringwood garden scenes for the people that I love, and they hang them up so well. It's cause I'm Irish, don't you know? Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. From Glen to Glen and down the mountainside, the summer's gone and all the flowers are dying. Tis you, tis you must go and I must find. My grandson's in a band, he wears an earring in his lip and his hair is a different color every day. My granddaughter sings in choir and I know where they get it. When I'm listening to my records, I can hit all of the high notes. It's cause I'm Irish, don't you know? But come you back when summer's in the meadow, or when the valley's hush and white with snow, tis I'll be Oh, Danny boy, oh, Danny boy, I love you so. When you walk through my door, you'll see it matches every season. All the ribbons for the men of liberty. The president's my hero every day on television. All the trouble that our world's in, I'll crochet a small solution. It's cause I'm Irish, don't you know? A bit of fabric and some styrofoam, these ornaments I make. There's a special place in my heart for the Christmas tree out there. Now I'll share my secret of success in baking cakes. I make them in ceramic molds. Don't take my tea. I'll drink it cold, and I shall hear the soft you tread above me, and all my dreams will warm and sweeter be if you not fail to tell me that you love me. I'll simply sleep in peace until I am Josephine, I love being Irish, don't you know? Thank you. Thank you. Pray tell, Christine, why is your grandmother painting fire in hell? Uh, she loves to paint uh, on request. And she will be approached by several family members who say, I really love that actor, or I really love that scene. Could you paint that for me? She always loves to do that. And uh, one time my Aunt Josie, her daughter, asked her to paint the cover art from Meatloaf's Bad Out of Hell. <laughs> my grandmother. <laughs> so she really wanted to do this, and she gave it a really good try. But she kept coming back to me and saying, I have so much trouble with this. I can't make it look mean. You know, there's some sort of a demon or a wolf on the cover and she said I can only draw cute puppy faces I don't know how to make anything mean so I always remember that she told me that and that's just that's so such a description of my grandmother in general she she would never know how to make something look mean so that song is for her and uh, 
The second song in my grandmother set is about my grandmother on my father's side who lives in the Bronx, or lived in the Bronx. And it's called The Jewelry Box and the Fire Breathing Furnace. And I know that title is a little long, uh, but the title will explain itself throughout the song. I got to think about my grandma one. She lived in New York City and my father was her son. I didn't go there often but I liked it just the same. She had a jewelry box with every single gem that you could name. I felt grown up in an instant when I wore those pretty things. I thought I was the biggest movie star in necklaces and rings. Every color that the rainbow ever found A box of crayons couldn't even stand its ground Wearing so much I could barely move around Now my grandpa was the building super On that New York City street His job was to make sure all the people had their heat. He walked me down the hall to see the furnace boiling. I swore it was a dragon come to swallow half of everything. Like the scary movie people falling in a fiery pit. I figured one small slip up on this concrete floor and that'd be it. So I got my nerve and backed out of there slow. Left my grandpa with the furnace all alone. I went back to grandma's jewelry box and didn't really care about the coal. There were long white steam pipes hanging overhead. How lucky that I didn't realize exactly where they led. I had spun on all her furniture instead. It was vinyl monkey bars suited fine for all us basement movie stars. When I wasn't playing, dressing up, or running from the heat, I was sitting in the kitchen where my met to eat. And even to a kid like me, that kitchen was so small, they hadn't room enough, they had to keep the fridge out in the hall. We had to move the table out just so we all could fit, and you could almost open up that fridge no matter where you'd sit. I'll not forget that small apartment in the Bronx with a furnace that scared me out of my socks. And the fastest way to feel grown up was in my grandma's jewelry box. Thank you. Thank you. True story. Both grandmas had fire. Yes, in one way or another. That's true. Um, next song, we'll change the pace now a little bit. Okay. Before you start the next song, sure. let's tell people how they can get in touch with you to find out Absolutely. about your performing uh, schedule and your recording, uh, which maybe Mike can get a shot of here. Thank you. Um, you can email me at christine at christinedeleon.com, uh, and uh, I check that very often, and I'll be happy to uh, assist anybody who has a question. As that would imply, that the website is christinedeleon.com. That's correct, com. yes. And it's a fun trip around my website. You get to look at my blogs a lot. Uh, while I was recording, uh, I shared my experiences uh, every day uh, on the website. So it's kind of a little chronology of what went on as I was doing that. And... Uh, mm -hmm. The next song is called Numbers. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and I have the title of the CD in, the, in this next song. Uh, toward the end, you'll hear a line that refers to a January hiding, which is the title. mysterious. I started writing that song on probably the saddest day I can remember ever, but then as I continued writing it, it just turned into this message of you won the battle, but not the war, so 
this isn't over, and I still have lots to be happy about and grateful for, and that isn't living well the best revenge. <laughs> isn't that what they say? So what I, they say. Yeah. Um, Would you care to comment on how you came to your music? I, uh, my very first memory of my whole life was based around music. I was not yet old enough to stand on my own because I remember stan at the top, standing at the top of a wrought iron railing staircase and I was holding on to the railing and I was dance, kind of bopping around to uh, the song Spinning Wheel <laughs> on the radio. So, and that's the, first, the earliest memory I can, I can, I can recall. And uh, I just started listening to records when I was very young and singing along with them. And I would lock myself away in my room for hours at a time. And I, you know, just that's all I wanted to do was to sing and to play and really enjoyed it. Um, I started teaching myself how to play guitar when I was 14 because I figured I needed to, something to accompany myself with. Uh, so that's how that started. And I, you know, got some guitar lessons along the way, which was a, a really great asset because I learned how to do some finger picking and some uh, learned how to accompany myself better. Um, I have a song, a request, actually, here in the studio. If you'd like, I'll play that. Sure. Our cameraman, Brad, listened to my CD and said that this was his favorite on the CD. Uh, and it's called Shine, so I'd like to do that for everybody. Water still. 
just and sound of body and mind. It's harder to pray on behalf of your broken down heart. And now as clouds fell her eyes, you drift away. If your surface had ever run dry, she tried.